It's not just killing. It's not just me going out and bragging about something that I uh, stole a heartbeat from. It is more of me conquering my adversary, my prey, something that I have so much love for and respect for. I've actually shed a tear in the woods before ever taking a life of, of something that I'm after. I, I love to hunt. That's probably the number one outlet for me is to just get away, get in the woods um, with my camera and my weapon and, and just, just be who I grew up being, who my, who my father raised me to be in, in the area I grew up in. That was a way of life. I spent six years as a security forces member and I never got to see a chaplain. And once I got out after those six years, I just felt a strong calling to go back as a chaplain. The one thing that we as chaplains have uh, over anyone is that 100% confidentiality. No matter what somebody walks into our office with, um, you know, we don't take it outside those doors. And a lot of times it is difficult and it weighs on our heart a lot of times when we have to hear things that hurt us. But even though we're there to help that person, we're humans as well. And when we hear uh, situations that are sad, situations that we know we wish we could walk outside that door and help them with, we can't. But in return, a lot of, a lot of times once they do leave our office, things start getting better and, and we're able to speak to them more and more and their life starts to change. It's, a, it's really a fascinating uh, transition. Where the two really meet to me is passion. You have to be passionate about being a chaplain. You have to be passionate about being a serious hunter because you have to have that love and that desire to work at it to make both happen and to make both rewarding for uh, you or the person you're, you're with.